Good evening, dear all. It's Avanti here with Avanti's tutorials. I thank all of you for your huge response, liking, sharing, and subscribing my channel. Today, I am back with verbs and its types. Before I start, I feel proud that I have introduced or I'm starting as already I've posted on Facebook also and uh, on social media that I have started my classes in Aurangabad for Mathematics and Science for classes 8, 9 and 10 for CBSC and ICSC. Those who, who are watching from Aurangabad, the viewers from watching from Aurangabad, please do visit my office for offline classes. So coming back to verbs and its types. So what are verbs? Let's recall verbs are action words and there are 11 types of verbs. Which are they? Action verbs, stative verbs, transitive verbs, intransitive verbs, linking verbs, helping verbs. Those are known as auxiliary verbs also, modal verbs. Then it comes to regular, irregular, phrasal, infinitive verbs. I'll enlist them on the board so that it becomes easy for you all to understand. So, before I enlist again, I request all of you that keep on liking, sharing and subscribing my channel. So, types of verbs. There are 11 types of verbs. First is action verbs. Second is stative verbs. Third is transitive verbs. Fourth is intransitive verbs. Fifth is linking verbs. Sixth is auxiliary or helping verbs. Seventh is Modern verbs. Eighth is regular. Ninth is irregular verbs. Tenth is phrasal verbs. Eleventh is infinitive verbs. Now, why to learn all these parts of speech and their types, I told you. Unless and until you don't know what are the words, what they do, what they mean, while communicating in English, then it creates a verb. And that's why there's differentiation. So, verbs will help you while framing the sentences. Verbs play an important role when you frame a sentence. Then you must be known about the three forms of verbs also. That I'll be conducting in some other class. So, verbs and its types. So, how many verbs are there? 11 types of verbs are there. Action verbs, stative verbs, transitive, intransitive, linking, helping or they are also known as auxiliary. Then it comes to modal verbs, regular, irregular, phrasal and infinitive. So, what are action verbs? The name itself indicates the verbs which shows the actions like jump, run, walk. Those are known as action words. Sorry, action verbs. Then stative verbs means here you state a condition of either quality or emotion. For example, the verbs which you use as love, want, because here you are expecting something. You want means you resemble means you are something expressing. That comes under this category. That is stative verbs. Then it's transitive. This verb is always accompanied with an object directly. Now, what is the uh, framing of a sentence or how the structure of a sentence is always? It is usually it's a subject plus verb plus object. Subject means karta, verb means kriyapad, object means uh, the one which is dependent upon the verb. So, that is called as karta, kriyapad and karvita, object that you call as. So, the verb which is directly connected with the object or accompanied with the object is known as a transitive verb. For example... Lisa ate a delicious pizza. 
लीजा एट एट इज अ पास टेंस ऑफ ईट लीजा ने पिज्जा खाया लेकिन कौन सा या फिर लीजा ने क्या खाया तो पिज्जा खाया वट डिड लीजा ईट दैट गिवस यू आंसर पिज्जा सो दैट ईट इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड विथ द ऑब्जेक्ट और विथ एन ऑब्जेक्ट दैट्स वाई इट्स अ ट्रांसिस्टिव वो इन ट्रांसिस्टिव वर्ब इज एक्सैक्टली अपोजिट ऑफ इट इट इज नॉट इट ऑल कंसर्न विथ अ डिरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट विथ एन डिरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर एक्साम्पल एरोप्लेन फ्लाइस विमान उड़ता है कुठे नॉट रिक्वायर्ड सो सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट सॉरी सब्जेक्ट एंड वर्ब दैट ओनली कंप्लीट्स द मीनिंग ऑफ द सेंटेंस दैट कम्स अंडर इन ट्रांसिस्टिव होप आई हैव मेड इट वेरी क्लियर ट्रांसिस्टिव एंड इन ट्रांसिस्टिव आई रिपीट अगेन ट्रांसिस्टिव इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड विथ एन ऑब्जेक्ट वेयर एज इन इन ट्रांसिस्टिव इज नॉट एट ऑल कनेक्टेड विथ एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो फोर ऑफ देम आई हैव एक्सप्लेन एक्शन स्टेटिव ट्रांसिस्टिव एंड इन ट्रांसिस्टिव moving on towards linking linking verbs are the verbs those are special type of stative verbs now special type of uh, stative verb means they are connected with a subject as well as a subject complement now what is subject complement where the sub one subject is connected with a number of things for example vijay is trying to become an attentive child in the class I repeat, Vijay is trying to become an attentive child in class. Here, become is also a verb and trying is also a verb. Now, what are these two verbs? So, becoming means he is doing something with his trial. That means a subject is connected with a subject complement, and that comes under linking verbs. So, linking verbs are none other than special type of stative verbs. There also at times you are connected with your maybe quality expressing, maybe your emotion expressings, but using the subject complement. So, five types I have explained. Before I move on, again I request all of you keep on liking, sharing, and subscribing my channel. Especially I would like all of you to. Uh, subscribe my channel because as and when i keep on posting my videos you'll get the links and for new viewers also i request please do go back and check my videos go through it all your suggestions compliments and comments are welcomed please keep on updating or keep on commenting what kind of videos you want what topic you want me the next one so next is helping verbs or those are known as auxiliary verbs the name itself indicates helping verbs those are the verbs connected with the main verb i am going to mumbai go is a main verb am is helping verb that is specifying the subject along with the main verb that is called as a helping verb i am going to mumbai main mumbai ja rahi hu Modal verbs are special type of auxiliary verbs group. It's a subgroup of auxiliary. There you need uh, not to specify. There are chances. So those are like can, may, might. Means at times you may need a permission. Sometimes you are guessing. That comes under modal verbs. For example, when I say excuse me, sir, may I come in? Means I'm asking for a permission. You might have done it. Means I'm not sure. कि उन्होंने कुछ किया है. किया भी होगा. so when you are not sure about that comes under modal verbs and that's why we specify or we state modal verbs as a subgroup of auxiliary or helping verbs coming to your regular verbs your regular verbs are the verbs which are past tense form of the main verb and their past participle they both ends with ed now there are three forms of verbs main verb past tense past participle for example Uh, walk, walked, walked, or cook, cooked, cooked. When it is ed, never say cooked, walked. No, this d should be silent. So when the past tense and the past participle they end with ed, that comes under your regular verbs. Irregular exactly opposite of it. No doubt they do have the past tense form. They do have the past participle form also, but it never ends with ed. For example, go, went, gone. B U Y buy bought bought. Even the bought past tense and past participle is same, but yes, this buy bought bought that comes under regular one. So how to differentiate between regular and irregular verbs? So irregular verbs, uh, sorry, regular verbs. First of all, once again recall, uh, regular verbs are the verbs whose past tense form and 
past participle ends with either ed only d or t as the variant which i gave the example just now that is by what what but whereas in irregular it is not like that they do have the past tense form also they have the past participle also but they never end with ed d or t as a variant for example go went gone then it comes to begin began begin b e g i n begin is the main verb b e g a n began is the past tense b e g u n is the past participle coming to the phrasal verbs these are the verbs which form phrases means what they use the prepositions or adverbs to make it as a phrase ask for to put up with that comes under phrasal verbs infinitive verbs actually they are not the direct verbs they are the verbs which are prefixed or suffixed with to to go to to take into to see that comes under infinitive hope i have tried to cover all the verbs and its types so before i end with again i request all of you to do like share and subscribe my channel even for the local viewers that is the viewers from aurangabad i do request all of you visit my office before 10th of january because on 10th i'll be starting with my new batch of class 8 9 and 10 for mathematics and other subjects also mathematics i'll be taking taking and i have other uh, staff members faculty members with me even uh, we are preparing the children for j mains also and your other preparations too for details i have shared already my soft copy of the the details on the social media please go through it and for my channel once again i recall i remind and i request to all the viewers please do like share and subscribe my channel old and new viewers both of you old viewers once again i thank you for your huge support and new viewers please do check uh, my videos and all of you please keep on commenting and compliment complimenting to and i need comments for improvement because nothing is perfect never and nothing is permanent too so your comments are always welcome and please do comment you want you expect which video for me the next to be thank you good night